In this video, I will show you how to extract and save WhatsApp group contacts at once. Saving the contacts manually for sure takes pretty much time since some groups have over 500 members. But don't worry, you're covered in this tutorial. Watch the video fully so that you do not miss out any step. First step, open WhatsApp web. Link your WhatsApp with WhatsApp web by scanning the QR code if you have not yet linked. In my case I have already linked my WhatsApp. Then now find the WhatsApp group you want to save the contacts from. Right click on the contacts and select inspect. All the contacts will be highlighted in blue under the inspector as you can see. Right click on the contacts. Then select copy. And using Mozilla Firefox web browser. If using that, select copy outer HTML, but if using Chrome, under copy you should select copy elements. After you have copied the numbers, minimize the browser. On main windows screen, right click to refresh. Again right click and go to new, then select Microsoft Excel worksheet. Name it the name you wish to. When done, double click it to open. Paste the numbers here by right clicking then paste. Thereafter, on the main menu, select data. And then pick text to column. On the pop-up page, pick Delimited. Click Next. Here, beside Other, insert on the blank box a comma. Click Next, then Finish. Now select the row containing the numbers and copy them using keyboard shortcut Ctrl C to copy. Move to next cell, then paste the numbers using paste special feature, to do this, right click then, instead of just selecting paste, hoover over and select paste special. Thereafter, select transpose, and then OK. Now you can delete the row because we do not need it now. Just select the row then delete it. Also delete spam title because we also do not need it. So far, we are moving on well. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Now the next step, scroll down. You can delete you because it's not necessary. When you scroll further, At cell 186, you can see some text there, this means that from there downwards, it is just a duplicate of the numbers above. This is because of spaces that are automatically created between the numbers when we extracted them from the WhatsApp group. Now because we don't want duplicates of the same numbers. Select that row, now press on your keyboard, Ctrl plus Shift, then press the down arrow. This will select all the numbers downwards. Right click then clear content. Now you can do some formatting depending on how you want. In my case, I only want numbers having country code of plus 254. So I'm going to delete all numbers that does not start with the country code as specified.
Now after you are done and remain with only the numbers you wanted, double click on the line separating column A and B to expand the contacts column, so that the numbers fit it neatly. Hoover over on column A until till you see the black down arrow. Now right click and click insert. A new column will be created. You can delete the first row so that the work is clean. In column A, name it names because here is where you were writing the name of the contacts. On the phone numbers column, name it contacts. Now you can start writing the names of how you will want your contacts to be saved. In my case, I want them to be saved in just numbers starting from 2000. Because it is really tiresome writing those numbers from 2000 all the way to the last number, we can automatically fill them using fill feature. What you have to do is just write the first two numbers to give Excel a sequence of what you want, select the two numbers. Then now just on your second number, beside we got fill handle, now drag the fill handle up to the last contact. The names will be automatically filled. Now everything is set. Next step is now go to your favorite browser, and using Chrome browser, which should be logged in using the same Google account in phone, so that when sync occurs, the phone numbers will appear in your contact list. Go google.com and open Google Contacts. Select create contact, then create a contact. We are creating a contact so that it aligns numbers in we have in Excel, the same way they're arranged in Google Contacts, so that they're compatible to avoid errors that can arise during saving. After creating the contact, save it. Now click on the three dots. Select export and make sure it is in the Google CSV format. Then export the number. It will download an Excel file. After it finished downloading double tap to open it. Here, you can see how it is arranged. We got name column and when you drag the other side, we got the contact column indicated as phone 1 and the number below it. Now I want to align numbers I had in Excel with the sequence of this Excel sheet from Google Contacts. Select all the names you had automatically field and copy them. Open the Google Contacts Excel sheet and paste those names under the first column of name. Go back again and copy all the numbers. Go to Google Contacts Excel sheet and paste those numbers under column of your phone number, just as shown in the Excel sheet. When done, now save.
a pop-up will be seen saying some features may be lost, but just ignore it and click on yes and continue. Your Excel file will be saved on your computer. Now open the Google Contacts again and click on Import. Select the Excel contact that you just saved. Thereafter, import it. Then phone numbers will be imported in your Google Contacts as seen. Now to make this contacts appear on your mobile device. Open your phone. Go to settings. Under settings scroll down and open accounts and sync. Now on Google, click on sync. Now syncing will start, wait for the sync to finish. Sync process synchronizes all the Google contacts into your phone. When sync is over, open your phone contacts. You see all the numbers are saved just like you saved them in Excel. That is it guys, if the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up for the video to reach wide audience and help others. If you want to receive more content like this in future, ring that notification bell to be notified anytime I post content like this. If you want to see me cover any other topic, let me know in the comment down below. I hope you enjoyed and always I hope to see you next time, cheers.